Thanks for tuning in. My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell thinks the email game is rigged, gets romantic about Carrie Lake, suffers tech fails, brain fails, and drops new words while the right wing loses it over the thought of losing their gas stoves when the only flames they should be concerned about are the ones coming from their Republican dumpster fire that's blazing higher than Don Jr. by the day. A couple things. He's fading fast. He's a proven loser. He costs us the House in 18. He costs us the White House in 20. He costs us to set it again and again. And I think we all know that. And I think we're moving past Trump. I really think that's the case. I do, I can't imagine him getting the nomination, frankly. And I, I don't mean this because I don't want him, I don't want him to get the nomination. I just don't think he will as an analytical point. I don't like Paul Ryan, but I do love that he's gone savage on Donald Trump recently. He's on the board of Fox. They've all turned on him and it's great. It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell talks email conspiracy and tech nonsense and drops a ridiculous new name for Carrie Lake. I have a laugh with the latest and stupid, including another hilarious Don Jr. dub, mock the Republican hysteria around gas stoves and more. The guy who acts like he's fighting invisible karate champions while he's talking tweeted, I'm sure a lot of people keep top secret and classified documents in their, wait for it, garage? <laughs> that is the best place to keep them because no one would look there. Joe Biden is playing 70 chess folks and you just can't keep up. <sighs> Naturally, I replied, top secret, wait for it. When you meant to text Kim about your sores and then ended up snow tweeting. I guess this is what happens when you mix diaper Don's jeans with an abundance of nose candy and the lasting trauma from Herschel Walker dropping you on your head at SeaWorld. It, we're just looking at deviations and it doesn't make sense like in Arizona where the auditor gets more votes than the governor, you know what I mean? Um, your auditor down there that nobody knew the name. Well, I'm going to vote for the Republican auditor, but I'm not going to vote for Carrie Lake, America's darling, uh, you know, and fighting for me. I have heard Carrie Lake called a lot of things. Carrie Filter, Carrie Flake, Karen Lake, Scary Lake, Female Trump, Rhymes with Bunt, America's darling, not one of them. Roger Stone has a bigly tattoo of President Nixon on his back, and that is the least embarrassing thing about him. This is really cool. Ready? Uniparty. And if you don't know what that is, they have other names for it. The Deep State, the Globalists, those four. Now, where do the Democrats fit into this? I'll tell you where they fit. They wanted these machines gone for two decades. Let's roll the tape. All right. This video was put together. Well done. Reminding everyone. I'll tell you what, let me move it forward a little bit. Here we go. 16 election. Oh, I'm back the election was stolen. What about the 2016 election? Great lengths to essentially tape, prove Bannon, that Bannon, he beat you. Bannon, yeah. this is not the tape. All right. it, it, we, have a, okay, tape. we have another one. I think. All talking about machines. Yep. Everyone want them to get rid of the machines. Okay. I love how long it took bargain bin Burt Reynolds to realize he was watching the wrong clip, or as he says, tape. To be fair, I would not be surprised if the biggest broadcast place ever was still on VHS. It was silly enough when Fox freaked out about purple M&Ms, but now the right wing has shifted their hysteria to gas stoves. The claim that the Biden administration is going to ban gas stoves has had such winners as Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, and Ronnie Jackson freaking out with tweets and memes to protect something that is not going to be taken away. Yes, this week, in wasted time, the White House had to come out and say President Biden would not support a ban, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission, an independent agency, said there's not even a ban in the works. There's absolutely no scientific evidence out there that demonstrates that this type of cooking is any more hazardous or dangerous than any other type of cooking. This is just an effort by the left, by the Biden administration, to continue to push their Green New Deal and to continue to take control over our everyday lives. Well, Ronnie, research has found that gas stoves can leak cancer-causing benzene, harmful levels of oxides of nitrogen, which is known to cause asthma. But again, modern stoves are much safer and are always improving, and it's recommended to run the instructor fan 
when you're cooking. The only thing that may ever happen, maybe one day, is that new products will be regulated and have more safety features, like airbags in cars. We're improving. I'm all for safety, and I love cooking with gas, because you get that sweet, sweet control of the heat, a fast boil, and you can even toss a marshmallow there for s'mores. But at no point did I see these headlines from the right wing and think, This is happening. They're coming for my stove. Get me a Don't Tread on Me shirt with a six burner on it now. They're sending out, like I send out, I don't know, 8 million emails a day. I, the RNC, I have no idea what they're sending out, but if they have a list, who knows? It could be in the hundreds of millions. I, I don't know that part. But I know whatever it is, when, it, when Gmail is 40% of your platform and only 10% are going through and the rest, Google, Crooked Google is kicking them into spam. Well, you better check on Crooked Google and you better check not just on your Gmails. You better look at your Yahoo. You better look at Microsoft. Hotmail, there's 30 some different platforms, everybody. I love a numbers guy who can really get specific with things like 30 some. He sends 8 million emails a day and he thinks big tech is out to get him by filtering his lumpy pillow bargains into spam. They are doing exactly what they are programmed to do to spare us from people like you, from businesses like you. Joe Biden wants to take away gas stoves. What's his problem? Men do not go in the kitchen. That's where broads make hamburgers. This is really cool. Either way, but you know, then we should go back to them too if it happened there too, but maybe not on this big of a, maybe you tested it there. And now you were able to do it in all those Republican spots in Maricopa County. The same numbers extrapolated. Cary Lake wins by almost 200,000 votes, everybody. Shameful. Spot. Are they dating? Because it's clear the inventor of lumpy pillows and nonsense words wants to extrapolate over America's darling. Your steak sandwich is missing a condiment. Guys, so super high here, but saucy Guilfoyle, when you get a job because of only hot qualifications rather than actual qualifications, guys, this shouldn't surprise us, remember? When that's all you have is your Ivanka? Again, you saw the Jared Kushners. We've seen the sibling chode crisis, and yet... <sighs> No problem letting me get with Paul Stanley in a Bon Jovi wig. But of course, me, my father, Eric, with sores will actually say it. The spots will recover soon. Appear like nothing's happening and then we can give it a tug. That's when Jared's Saudi deal gets you. Speaking of Don Jr., his makeup lab explosion survivor girlfriend is making the rounds ranting about the recent discovery of classified documents in Biden's possession. Why aren't they going full force and measure against him? Instead, they raided President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, going through Melania's closet and drawers in a despicable manner, treating it like they were, um, you know, doing a raid on, you know, ISIS. It's just absolutely insane, but the American people see through this. The American people see that the FBI never actually raided Trump. They searched Mar-a-Lago after he repeatedly refused to cooperate, whereas Biden said, have at it. They're by the Corvette in a locked garage. It's a manual transmission, gears, one, two, three, four, five, stack of documents in the trunk. No malarkey, it's a car, there's a sunroof, crawl through it. In Delaware, you'll never find it. Biden's giving Chevrolet that Mike Lindell Hardy's kind of advertising that is the best and worst at the same time. It's not a great look to have the documents at your home, but I will side with the fella who was alarmed that they were still in his possession versus the guy who said he magically declassified them and hoped to sell them. This is what I do, and this is what I've been doing, Brandon. I've been, I've been doing it for um, a long time. And one of the things I think with the RNC, too, is their social media marketing. I mean, there's a, there can be a lot more done there. But to fix the, to make sure the platforms are always running the best they can be. So you're taking that donor dollar, you're maximizing it, but you're also spending it in the best places you can spend it. And you bring that trust back to the, to the, um, a siren goes off when he's talking about trusting him with spending the money. The guy who can't even find a matching dye for his mustache and who spent millions on a bogus investigation will spend money well. I don't think so. And I really want him to win. I do. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. She has been cagey about her deals with Kevin McCarthy, and I'm still hoping there's something in there about surgery. I mean, I don't want her to go full Guilfoyle, but...
but I see a lot of opportunities for improvement. The one thing I do know is that she has been denouncing some of her QAnon past, so she has to pretend that the Soros Trudeau Panda Express globalists are not running this world, but it is actually easy for her to go on a show and say those things because her three ginger root looking toes are permanently crossed. They are just completely bleh. Now, we have been laying low, binging on this Netflix show about Harry and an actress, and there are some serious revelations there about the royal deep state, but I had to switch it off when MTG found a kinship with Prince Charles, since his fingers are like jumbo sausages in miniature casings. It was all just too much for me, and I had to remind her. Things may get a bit crazy, because we are talking to mentally unstable shouty lunatics taking Lauren Boebert's dented jeep to pound town, but no matter how bumpy the road gets, if I see so much of a flicker of what is happening, shin down. We are talking skin so horrific, the guy from Nightmare on Elm Street had to retire because he is not scary compared to the street meat beef skewer sold in 100 degree heat with zero refrigeration. From a Patong food cart outside the ping pong show I hit up so frequently, I brought my own paddle, okay? And if Alex took that lucky tie paddle and smashed a mortadella meat stump over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, it would still look better than what she got going on down there. What is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. I hope the people of Brazil keep fighting for my friend, the great real President Boner Soros, totally stolen by democracy. This is really cool. You will grow hair before you get penny from me. <laughs> MAGA tears. Vote all Democrats out of office. Red wave coming. MAGA tears. Oh boy. A new left site filled with fake news sheeple showing their ignorance via the comments. MAGA tears. If you watch this show, you are socialist dirt. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media and following me on mine. It costs you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. So if you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or smash that super thanks button. And be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries and have toured with Jim Jeffries for several years. I have three albums. You can stream them on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.